Yeah, man, I just want to share something with y'all, man. I had found out through my lawyer that a contract I signed was probably potentially with a Ponzi schemer. I'm owed about 300000 right now uh, due to a, a contract that I signed, which is right here. You know, I have a uh, contract for my watch deal I was supposed to do. Uh, show y'all the money. You know what I'm saying? See, advance the artist $50,000. That's one contract. The second one is this one. Uh, my own coconut water was supposed to come out. And this another one for 50. You understand me? You know, my real name LeVar is Coleman. I'm just trying to teach y'all something because it might be some young LeBrons out there that's following me. And then I had my own wine deal that where I was supposed to be owed some money to promote a wine company. I was estimated to make $2.5 million a year off this deal. So I'm just trying to advise y'all, be careful who y'all signed to because a lot of people are uh, running schemes to make money off other people, retired people who need their money. So let me tell you the game. So you need to look up a guy named Bernie Madoff. He ran off with $50 billion through a Ponzi scheme and ran off with a lot of money. And it was the biggest Ponzi scheme known to mankind. So I want y'all to do some research on that as well. Um, Ponzi schemes start off at real, as real business and it's built off credibility. The guy in the pretty suit and expensive belongings that were purchased through real in new potential Ponzi's. You understand me? We call them Ponzi's because they clients to a Ponzi schemer. You know, the prettier the motherfucking suit, the more evil, uh, uh, evil the schemer is. So you got to be careful with these guys who walk around in nice suits and just like you rap niggas who playing they real street niggas and all that shit and they fake as fuck. So you got to be careful with these motherfucking white men and black men walk around these goddamn pretty ass suits because they be Ponzi scheming like a bitch and you won't even know it. So schemes like Ponzi start off as real business. See, they start off as real business because they want to produce new clients, new Ponzi schemers that they can scheme. So what they do is... They'll promise a big return on a small investment at a low risk. So you'll get a high return on your money off a low risk off of an investment. So what you do is you run back just like a nigga who flip a brick. Man, I just bought a brick for $17.5. You did? Hell yeah. And oh shit, he got more. Yeah, he got more. And then the other nigga in the hood gonna come back and say, well shit, let me go buy me two or three of them bricks for that 17 five. Well, I could make me my motherfucking money back off this low interest rate. And he gonna get them to you too. So when all five of y'all get this man some money for some bricks, he run off on the motherfucking plug twice, three times, four times, and take all the money he made off y'all and fly to a different city and run the same scheme because he got to keep his Ferrari and Bentley that he bought off other Ponzi schemes that he did. So you got to be careful about these motherfucking Ponzi schemes because they not regular. You understand me? They got, a, 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 it's a big business and a lot of people don't recognize the business because we do nigga business, but these people do real business in a manner where they'll talk professional and all that. And they be having lawyers behind the shit too to cover their tracks. So you got to be careful with these motherfuckers, man, because a lot of investors lose millions of dollars and a lot of seniors that retired out the army and all type of businesses that they don't want to work no more, these motherfuckers lose millions of dollars off Ponzi's, investing in the Ponzi scheme and wind up homeless for the rest of their motherfucking life, got to live on the street, ain't got no weather for uh, their kids and grandkids to stay because of a Ponzi, a heartless Ponzi schemer. So I'm going to tell you something. The dude who I was dealing with name is Jose Benitez. His lawyer name is Luis Barrios, who is located in Miami. The guy promised me three deals for value that uh, 300K for my own coconut water, my own wine, my own watch deal. I got every deal right here, see? Watches, coconut water, Trying to show it to you. And this the wine deal, but I lost the wine tag. 
I'm going to try to show it to you. So, they all are signed by me, him, and the lawyer. You see? They signed. And I'm old money. And I'm just trying to show the young LeBron's this right here. He used my name to go fish other scheme uh, uh, investors to invest into his Ponzi, which in where in return he would have paid me to be quiet, but they would have lost millions of dollars. So what I did was when I found out he was running the Ponzi, I immediately contacted my lawyer and told him, look, man, I don't want to do no business with him because they said, yo, the money might be ready in a few days, uh, whoop -de -whoop, but I, I found out through the investors that was reaching out because he was using my name that he was taking money from them and it was a Ponzi. So why is you going to investors if you saying you run a company and you got all this money, what you need all these other parties involved for? So when I learned it was a Ponzi, I backed out of it and I filed the lawsuit um, for damages and lost wages because I had a deal on the table with Adidas for the workout wrist watch where you track how many steps you walk. I was gonna uh, promote their watch and their brand and I couldn't due to the fact that I signed a deal with this guy. So I just wanna let y'all know, be careful who you sign with because I do a lot of deals under the table. I don't broadcast my deals just to keep my next move silent from the haters. Cause a lot of people be yelling out new deal alert and all this shit they got going on, but they really just being selfish. I don't like nobody in my business. I believe all business deals are supposed to be confidential. So I'm just telling you as a businessman to keep what you do in your next move silent until it need to be spoken on. And this here needs to be spoken on. You know what I mean? This is real business, real signed contracts. I got so many contracts sitting here. You know, you know, see, promoter, distribution, it's real business I do, I do a lot of business, tons of contracts just sitting here, right here, you know, so I'm just letting you know, I'm looking over my future and I'm realizing that a lot of people, because they got a nice suit, blue eyes, that don't mean they motherfucking bought that business. They just take it from another motherfucker. So y'all be careful and don't get robbed because you got talent or because you reaching a broader audience than they are and they trying to use you and you thinking cause they white, black, brown, or blue that they do good business. That ain't always the case. Be careful and be mindful of who you sign for. Sign to because it can hurt you in the long run. Trust me, a Ponzi, whether you know it or not, or whatever, your ass will wind up in prison because they use your name involved in it. Be motherfucking careful and ask questions and make sure you got real attorneys because if you wind up in prison, ignorance of the law is no excuse. We the business.